Dan Walker, welcome to Old Shot Town. Yeah. You arrived with a, a, a good pedigree, Luton, Braintree, Eastleigh. You've you've enjoyed success in the conference, the National League, as it is now before. So you, you know what this division's about. Yeah, obviously it's the tough. Everyone says it. It's the toughest division, obviously, to get out of with only one team automatically going up, and obviously the playoffs. So obviously had a couple of years at Luton where we lost in the playoff finals, and then obviously last year at Eastleigh again in the playoff semis which obviously we're unlucky enough to lose to Grimsby but obviously it's a good league and obviously I've played quite a few games in the league so hopefully this could be the season where we push on obviously with the manager he's got high hopes of the club and obviously the players I spoke to a couple of ones I know and they've obviously got good ambitions for the club so obviously I'm raring to go and hopefully this will be a good year for Aldershot and who says we can't get promoted this year. Yeah. So you've pretty much already asked, answered my next question, why, why have you chosen Aldershot Town yeah. of, of all the clubs that, that you had options with? Yeah, obviously Aldershot, it's a, it's a, like everyone knows it's a big club and recently I know obviously the fans will probably admit it's been underachieving a bit with the facilities and fan base and whatnot that they've got. It's, it's a shame really that they haven't, that they're not back in the league really because a club this this size should be pushing for that and obviously hopefully now with a new manager and a new squad of players that we're going to have that it can sort of gain a fresh start if you like and we can push on and get some good things. Yeah and the club have already seen to, to our cost your qualities, you, you've yeah. already enjoyed some success here with, with Hereford and with Braintree as well so you, you already knew what playing here was like. Yeah obviously I've had good memories of this place so far obviously. Um, Hereford stayed up last day of the season, obviously set up um, the winner for ranks and obviously it was a good, amazing day that day. Obviously for, it's a shame what happened to the club and then last year the Braintree we won here as well. So I've played a couple of times and I've really enjoyed it. Obviously the pitch is fantastic. The, like I said, the crowd's always a good crowd here. So yes, yeah, so I think it's a, one of the better clubs in the league by far. Your career started at, at Stony Stratford. You always believed that you could make that, that step up. There were so many players that do start out low down but prove that yeah. they've got the ability to, yeah. to step on. Yeah, luckily for me, obviously I was um, at Russian and Diamonds, got released when I was 15, so from then on I sort of just played locally and just scored goals where I went and then ended up at Bedford Town and again did, um, which is sort of Ryman League if you like, and mm. we had a friendly against Luton and I'd done well in the game and got obviously a two year contract from that and since then obviously I've been at quite a few clubs in this league and for one reason or another I haven't really maybe done as well as I should have so this year I'm going to work harder than I have because I'm the first to admit um, since I've, the other years I've been I've not really pushed myself or I've maybe just done enough when I haven't been in the side so this year I've got a real point to prove and I'm going to work harder than I have and I know a few of the lads here as well have got the same sort of ambitions so hopefully yeah. I've got I'll have a good season and I've got a um, sign of good things to come. And that, that does seem to be one of the key, the key traits that, that, that Barry is saying about the players he's signing and also the players about describing themselves that they have got that, that hunger, that passion yeah. to, to do well and that's what, that's what you need in every team. Yeah, of course. I know it's easy to say, like people say it each year, that they're obviously hungry and they want success but I genuinely believe that the players and the type of calibre player he's signing do mean it and obviously everyone has a point to prove so I think obviously like I said I think we could be we could shock quite a few teams this year and maybe obviously with the manager as well the way he wants to play I think we could we could be a real force in this league. You're primarily a striker but you've also played out wide yeah. maybe a little bit withdrawn as an attacking midfielder do you do you have a preference for where you play do you think that versatility is a good thing or yeah, does it well, I count think I'm at my best anyway? when I'm playing off the shoulder, maybe getting in behind and stuff, but since I've been in this league, I've not really had the chance to play as a striker. Like I've gone on loan spells and maybe played the odd games, but because of my pace, I, a lot of people see me and put me wide. And don't get me wrong, now and then I'm, um, like I have a good game plan wide, but I feel more comfortable playing, playing through the middle or if I'm playing as a winger, when I can get when I've got the ball at my feet and I can go past people, but defensively I'm I'm not I'm not so great. So a lot of, a lot of fans or teams can get frustrated with me because one game obviously if I play wide one game I'm I'm very good and then maybe another game I'm not so good. So it's it's frustrating. So I feel most comfortable when I'm playing through the middle and playing as a striker. But 
like I said, like, versatility wise, I can I can do both jobs. So it's always good, always good to obviously have more than one position. Yeah, yeah, but consistency is is the key, yeah, particularly for a striker. I yeah, suppose. of course, yeah, and that's I haven't had a good run of games playing as a forward, so I've always mainly been put wide. So I think obviously if I have a run of games playing as a striker through the middle, especially with my pace, that I can get I can score a number of goals. Yeah, and you mentioned the pace, the the composure in front of goal I think has been yeah. highlighted which probably suggests that you yeah. should play play down the middle but you're probably sick and tired of it the quote from Paul Buckle yeah. I think where he said you, know, you were one of the most unpredictable strikers yeah. that he's ever ever worked with do you think that's fair that yeah I can, I can see that myself because I know myself how frustrating I can be and that's why one of the things that's held me back probably in my career is the fact that I'm so harsh on myself mm-hmm. that because I know what I can do, if for example I'm not I'm not able to do that, I'm the person that beats myself up more than anyone and obviously it can it can have a negative effect. But as I've started to get a bit older now I've realised obviously everyone makes mistakes. You look obviously in the premiership each everyone makes mistakes. So I think it's it's a good thing to be unpredictable, but also you've got a you've got a obviously have belief in yourself and believe that you're gonna you're gonna have a good game, whereas maybe before I've gone into games thinking, oh, and I've had a bad ten minutes. It's sort of got on myself then, and then it's made me have a bad game. So I think as long as you can control it and believe in yourself, then there's no reason why you can't have a good game. Mm. And I suppose that that unpredictability can be a good thing because if you don't know what you're gonna do, a defender has yeah. got no chance. Yeah, no, of course. Like it's again, it's just a fr- fr- can be very frustrating because you're capable of doing amazing things, and that maybe you try things and it might not work and you might get it's, it's having the belief to do it because not worrying because before maybe I've got into games worrying if I give the ball away that I'm going to get moaned mm-hmm. do you know what I mean so it's some, something you learn as you get older <coughs> and now like I said I feel like this is the best I've felt for a while I've got mm-hmm. really, obviously I'm really confident now and I think with the as long as I work hard and push myself there's no reason why I can't have a good season mm-hmm. and one of Barry's key strengths as a manager is his man management. <coughs> Excuse me. And I suppose has, has he spoken to you about that confidence thing that he he'll, he'll be able to to get the best out of you. Yeah, he said obviously being an attacking player like myself that he wants us to to go on the pitch and show basically show what you can do. Mm-hmm. Like so, whereas maybe when I've been at other clubs before, I've been maybe they've been more worried about defensively. So say, for example, I've been playing wide, I've been maybe not wanting to lose a ball in a certain area in case, whereas with him, he sort of said, obviously that's what defenders are for. If you lose the ball, they'll, do you know what I mean? That's their job. So I think it, I think it's good because I think a lot of players will be a lot more confident and maybe not worry so much. So should obviously hopefully have a positive effect on all the forward players and hopefully get us the results that we want. Yeah. And. You've already spoken about it, clearly excited to get started and, yeah. and excited for what the team and yourself individually can achieve. Yeah, that's it. I think obviously giving a fresh start with the manager and the way he wants to play, it's like a, I think it could be obviously something good for the club. I think something fresh maybe, obviously if we have a good start as well, I think with all the fans, obviously the fan base they've got here and all the fans getting behind the club, I think we could go and push on and obviously there's no reason we can't make playoffs or even get promoted.